So you want to know how to get shaders for Minecraft on Mac. Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to install awesome shaders packs like Silver's Labyrinth Shaders and Chaka Pick 13. We're going to show you how to install those and any other shaders pack you want. We're also going to be talking about what to do if you have an M1 Mac versus you having a Intel-based Mac, right? So if you have an M1 or M2 Mac versus an Intel-based Mac, what do you do in that case? Lastly, we're also going to go over how to get Optifine, which is required for shaders, and even what to do if you have troubles opening Optifine. This really is an in-depth guide, but before we get into it, here's a message from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We love just Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them, and they really are the simplest and easiest way to create a Minecraft server. You can check out Apex again at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. You're not here to get a server though, you're here to get shaders. So let's go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is a complete list of 10 shaders packs for Minecraft. But you want to make sure they're marked Mac OS compatible. How do you check? Well, you just kind of check here at the end. This pack is also Mac OS and Windows compatible. That means Silders is. Chocopic also has that. Seuss also has that. And then last but not least, the one down here, Vanilla Plus, also is Mac OS and Windows compatible. It's good to know that the rest of these are just Windows compatible or Intel Mac compatible, but it just kind of depends on the Intel Mac you have. Some of them will work, some of them won't. But if you have an M1 Mac, you only need to go for the ones that say Mac OS on them. So in that case, it's going to be Silders. To do that, click the green download button. It takes you off to a dedicated tutorial on how to install shaders. Just scroll down and click the yellow download Silders button. Once you do that, it's going to take you here where you want to download the version you want. In my case, I'm going to download the medium because uh, I think that's what works best. It's going to take us off to add focus. And if you land on a page like add focus, stop. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just click the red skip button that's going to appear in the top right after about 10 seconds. There it is. Click that. It takes you to the official download page where you can scroll down and click download on the right hand side. Finally, the download will begin after a few seconds where you may need to keep or save the file or allow the file to download depending on basically your security settings. Now there's one more pack I want to download here and that is going to be Chocopic 13. The reason for that is it's a bit different than Silders when it comes to installing. There's basically two ways you could have to install packs and by doing both of these, we'll show you both. Let's go ahead and click on the green download button. It takes you here where you want to scroll down. Click on that Chocopic 13 download button there and the download process here takes you directly to curse forge where again you want to download it on the right hand side and by the way if shaders packs are older that's perfectly fine shaders honestly never need to be updated if they're a good shaders pack because they just kind of work unless the download is done there and we need to download one more thing Optifine. Optifine is what allows us to install all these awesome shaders packs and actually use them in Minecraft. So you can find Optifine linked in the description down below along with everything else. And once you're here, you want to scroll down and click on that download Optifine button. Once you've done that, you'll be taken to Optifine's official download page where you can see Minecraft 1.18.1 here. Now you want to make sure that's whatever version of Minecraft you want. In our case, it is 1.18. For you, it might be 1.19 or 1.20. Nevertheless, click the mirror link under the version listed under the version of Minecraft you want, and then it will take you to that version's download page. Once you're here, click on the download button to finally download Optifine. Again, you may need to allow or keep the file depending on your browser. We can now minimize our browser, and we want to drag and drop all of these to our desktop. This should be found in your downloads. Here Optifine is, then we want to go ahead and drag and drop Chocopic, and Shaders is actually Silders Shaders. And I'm going to rename that just because, well, we don't want confusion later on, right? We want to make sure that we know what this is. So there's Silders. First things we need to do is install Optifine. To do that, double click on Optifine, and then it's gonna give you this warning. It's a unidentified developer. That's perfectly normal. It is 100% safe. So go ahead and click OK here. Then go to System Preferences, right there, System Preferences, and then go to Security and Privacy. Then you wanna click on General at the top, and make sure right down here you'll see Optifine 1.18.1. Go ahead and click Open anyway. It's 100% safe. You'll get one more warning, and I promise it is safe. Click Open, and Optifine is going to open. You can close out of Security and Privacy. Once once you're in here, you want to go ahead and just click install and Optifine will automatically install. As you can see, Optifine successfully installed. The only reason it won't work at this point is if one of two things. You got an error that said Java runtime environment, right? Not available. And if that's the case, I'll show you how to fix that. Or you haven't played Minecraft 1.18.1 yet or whatever version of Optifine you're installing. So go play Minecraft first, see if that works, come back, see if you can open up Optifine. And if you can't, here's what you need to do. You need to go get Java for your Mac. Luckily, we have an in-depth guide here on how to download and install Java on Mac, specifically Java 17, right? Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods, such as Optifine, Forge, and any other Forge mod out there. 
as well as running a Minecraft server. You need Java 17 to do everything outside of playing Minecraft on your Mac. There will be a video tutorial here by the time this video is up. Now let's, let's go ahead and minimize our browser here. And again, you should be able to now double click on Optifine open it and click install. And if you do have issues installing, it's because you need to go play Minecraft, come back and this will work. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and get shaders installed. You can delete Optifine from your desktop. To do that, you wanna open up Minecraft here. And then once we've got Minecraft open, we wanna go ahead and select our Optifine profile, right? Now for me, it's gonna have one automatically and it'll probably have one for you as well. As you can see, there it is automatically selected. If that's the case, click play, click play again. If it's automatically selected, click this little arrow here and select it from this list. But if Optifine isn't in this list, this is where it gets tricky. Click on installations up here at the top and make sure modded is checked. As you can see, you uncheck modded, it goes away. Check on modded and there's Optifine, click play and click play again. But lastly, if you still don't have Optifine, go ahead and click new installation here. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because it's our incredible Minecraft survival and skyblock server. It's the best out there. Just come play on it. It's amazing. Nevertheless, the version right here, we want to click that drop down box and click release 1.18.1 Optifine. Yours may be down a little bit, so you may have to scroll, but mine was at the top. Now we want to go ahead, change the resolution. You don't have to. I'm just doing it so we can see once we get in game and click create. Now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile that has Optifine under it. That's the most important part. Click play, click play again, and now Minecraft's gonna open up with Optifine. The hard part's over. Now all we need to do is install our shaders packs here, right? That's it, just get these shaders packs installed. So here we go, Minecraft is open. We can go ahead and click on options, video settings, and then we wanna go ahead and click on shaders. Then we wanna click on the shaders folder in the bottom left, and that's gonna open up the shaders packs folder. Minimize Minecraft in the background so you can easily access your shaders. Then what we wanna do is actually not drag and drop these in here. What we wanna do is right click on our shaders pack and click compress. Now, specifically Silders, we wanna do that. That's because if you open up Silders, you see all this random files. If that's what you see when you open up your pack, right click on it and click compress like we just did. However, if you don't see that when you open up your pack, like you don't with Chocopic, you see this. This is basically all the versions of Chocopic shaders that you can install. What you wanna do in this case is just drag and drop the zip file to your desktop because that is actually what needs to be installed, not the file you downloaded. Nevertheless, once you've got these as zip files, your shaders have to be zip files to work, you wanna take and drag and drop them into the shaders packs folder. If you get this warning saying you're moving about iCloud, do that, you wanna do that actually, so it's perfectly fine to do that. Nevertheless, once you've got these in here and they are zip files, again, just right click and compress in order to get them into zip files if they aren't already, you can come back to Minecraft and they'll be there. Boom, here they are. We have both the medium version, the low version, and the Silders version of shaders here. Now, one of the things I will say is with Mac OS, you will have all kinds of weird issues and bugs to work out. So if we go ahead and jump in game here, it'll probably be pretty bright. That can be fixed by playing with shaders options, and I'll show you how to do that here once we do get in game, but we need to get in game for me to kind of show you what I mean. Now, that is unfortunately, as you can see, very bright, very dark, kind of weird. These can be fixed by going into options, video settings, shaders, and then clicking shaders options in the bottom right. Here you can change all sorts of stuff. I'm not gonna work through these issues here, but if you look it up online and Google some, you'll be able to find different fixes that you can make for M1 Macs. Again, you'll probably have less issues on non-M1 Macs, Intel-based Macs. Things like Silders, for example, look pretty decent, but can have things like uh, the wavy grass isn't working as well and things like that. That can also be fixed and changed in the shaders options. So there you have it. That is how you can get shaders in Minecraft on your Mac. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and be sure to subscribe for more awesome Minecraft videos for Macs and things like shaders and mods and all of that stuff. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown and I'm out. Peace.